he timed his selfie so well. But that explosion is actually a real world example of how methane can build up in places like the sewage system. So it got me thinking, is there a way for you to see how much gas my food waste releases as it decomposes? Let's find out. I grabbed a few bottles and filled them with common food waste like bread, milk, red meat, and also a banana peel. Then I added a bit of water to simulate the moisture conditions you'd get from a landfill. Now I could use a gas meter to detect methane gas, but I suspect the methane released from my decomposing food is way less than the amounts you'd get from a fart. So instead, I'm gonna go old school and use balloons to see which food waste releases the most gas. By the end of the second week, bread produced the most gas, but I couldn't film it for you guys because the balloon popped off the bottle. But here's the banana peel and meat scraps. Surprisingly, milk didn't really do anything. The experiment made my place smell absolutely awful. So I decided to freshen up the apartment by making some candy from clementine peels. 